you're just giving me a hard fact, but you're not giving me why. You know, when you've got a player who weighs 95 kilos and 100 kilos, and you've got a player that weighs 65 kilos, it stands to reason that one's going to hit the ball further than the other one. Yes, there's technique. Yes, there's timing. Yes, there's things. And we are continuously working at that. But you can't compare. You have to compare apples with apples. You know, and then you have to look at the IPL. You know, the IPL is, is the best T20 tournament in the world. You know, the level of intensity, the attention to detail, the quality of the players, the, it's a separate entity. So the IPL prepares players to play at international level. So you're comparing com two completely different things when you look at how many sixes India hits. How many, it's like saying how many sixes do the West Indies hit and how many sixes do we hit. I mean, th these guys are phenomenal athletes, big, strong guys. And we are in the process now of we're very lucky in our SNC, Nathan Kiley, and what he's doing with the players. Already we've seen a huge difference from a strength and conditioning point of view. So it will take time, but you cannot fight genetics. Or we're playing against a phenomenal opposition in their own country. But no, I'm, I'm being facetious. You're, you're, very, you're very correct. Um, you know, I, th I think you, you also, when you look at the difference between the two teams, as you've acknowledged, it's, it's pretty obvious what that is. Um, we've also, when you look at the top of the order, you know, Imon's played two games of T20 cricket. Yes, we have some experience along the way, but I agree with you. We, we have, from a batting point of view, we have underperformed according to our expectation. And you can take performance and an outcome as two different conversations, but yes, we would have liked to get 170, 180. It doesn't matter if India get 220, 230, because that's a bowling conversation. But yes, I acknowledge that we should have got a few more on some very good surfaces, but India have bowled really well too, and we probably haven't taken the options that we should have taken at the particular times of the game. But that's where we look at how many games of T20 cricket our batters have played, and can the learning happen faster? Of course, learning can happen faster. It can always happen faster. And are we talking about learning? Yes, we are. And there does come a point where, as a player, you've also got to take it on yourself when you've played a volume of cricket that you can't keep making the same mistakes. That stands to reason. And that's not just with cricket. That's in every walk of life. That happens in the office. It may, have not, may not have been, but I'll tell you at the moment that Lytton Kumar Das has won games of cricket with the gloves for us. And at the moment, if he's not the best, he's definitely in the top two wicket keepers in the world. And last time I checked, he was a human being, not a robot. So um, these things can happen. It, it may or may not have been. I can't answer that question. That's always the way. That's always our goal. Um, let's also remember that commentators are paid to talk. Um, so I, I wouldn't take everything commentators say as gospel um, because that's their job and we respect them for their job. But just because they say something doesn't make it gospel. I think we listen to them a bit too much. When you play T20 cricket, it's the shortest format of the game and it's the one that brings teams closest together. But, you know, when, when you look at outcome, I know people, the expectation is you either win or you lose a game of cricket. We have our own KPIs, which are pertinent to us within our change room, and we want to keep hitting those KPIs. We know if that happens over a period of time, and when I talk a period of time, I'm not talking one week, two weeks. Over a long period of time, if we're consistent at hitting those KPIs, you will see performance improve. So, yeah, we, we know what we're trying to do. Um, we probably haven't achieved all of it as well as we'd like to do, but you can see by Tuscan's performance in the last game what can happen when you do hit those KPIs. The thing is, with, with a question like that, it's very difficult to, to answer it directly because there's so many moving parts, you know, from a selectorial point of view, from, you know, there, there's a lot of things that we have to think about, and I'm, I'm not privy to all these conversations. Um, the other thing that we'll take into account is obviously the conditions and where we're going, and when you look at our, into next year, a lot of our cricket is going to be based in Asia, so those conversations and that planning will be done by the head coach and selectors and other people above me, so, um, but a, a very good question, and there, there certainly is a plan. 250, are we prepared for that? I think, um, is anybody prepared to go for two, uh, 250 in a T20 game? We do a lot of research, we do a lot of analysis, we're, we're very much aware of um, different grounds and, and the run squad on these grounds. So, you know, we've had our meetings, individuals have had their meetings, and we will try to the best of our ability to execute the plans we have in place. And, um, you know, cricket, cricket's a funny game because, you know, you can release the ball as a bowler, and once you've released the ball, it could be the best execution in the world, and it can land up in the stands. At the end of the day, as a bowler, we can't be looking at outcomes. You have to look at how well you execute your plan. And if you execute your plan, 
and the guy on the other end hits it for six, well, that's life. It's not like golf and tennis where it's all on you.